webinar. We're gonna have some fun today. I had an idea, it's probably not even gonna work, but I just got some spray paint. This is Mirror Effect Rust-Oleum. Oh, I showed you the French side. French side. So <clears throat> I thought it'd be cool to do like some mixed media-ish things, like what happens if I just spray paint the pillow? Now what I'm guessing is, especially because this is metallic, I feel like this is just gonna like sink and you're not even gonna see it. But I just wanted to give it a try anyways, because you don't know until you try. So I'm thinking of doing like a black pillow. I think, I wonder what would happen if I spray it first and then stretch it out, it'll probably all sink or leave weird things on top of the pillow. Or if I should spray it after I stretch it out, I don't know, it probably will be weird and I'll probably just end up doing like a regular pour. Uh, I have no idea what colors I'm using because I have like a thousand colors mixed up from all these mixing videos that I've been doing. Um, so why don't I just go choose some colors and like just have some fun spraying some stuff around. Be right back. I just brought you over here <clears throat> to where all my colors are so we can kind of discuss because as I said, I have zero idea. I do know <clears throat> we're going to have a, either a black background or an anchors away blue background. Um, so let's, since we're having a dark background, let's start with some light color. So remember the spray paint is gold, okay? So we're going gold and darks. Let's start with some like blues, right? Um, uh, I don't know what I'm feeling like today even. Uh, sometimes this can be hard, you know, choosing. All right, let's go with a purple. What's this? This looks like some sort of purple. And that's the other thing I probably should have written down what um, these <laughs> colors were. But this is like a mid-range purple. Oh, it's a little thin, but all right. Why don't we start with this idea, okay? So we have that tube. Or actually, should I go with my favorite purple these days, which is this old Holland, um, I've used it quite a bit, this gray purple. Oh, you can't see. Isn't that nice? Um, all right. I guess I'm in a purple mood today. If that's the case, I know I mixed up some Constellation right here, which you can't tell. In a minute, when I remix it up, you're going to say, ooh, that's pretty. Um, let me remix her up here. When you have um, piggies that sit for a while, you want to re, because uh, they all sink to the bottom. I'm trying to get in the camera here. Okay, isn't that so pretty? Definitely, okay, so we're purple. We need a bit of a contrast though, don't we? Um, so, we know that the complementary color to purple is yellow, but do I wanna go like super yellow like this? Not particularly. Now we have lemon sorbet, which looks yellow, but it actually shows up very gold, but it might look nice. So, so far we have two tubes, if you can see, I don't know, two tubes and two piggies, okay? Um, I like where we're going. I need a, some, I need a strong tube, a strong punch of color. Um, I wonder, I was going to do something crazy. Ooh. <coughs> I was going to throw this in, but I think I want to keep it more cool. So, like, as, as a cool tones. So, what am I throw in? Um, this looks like a custom color I made with, I'm going, or is it a piggy? Hold on. Let me mix. We can't judge until we mix. I see a sparkle, but what is this? Hmm. Interesting. This is a nice color that has sparkle in it. Uh, is this Lagoon? I'll figure that out, but there's definitely a sheen to it. It's quite nice. Um, does it go though? It's a little too green for my vision today. Um, 
why don't I see sometimes I have I have trouble picking color but I like where we're going um I will throw in a little bit of a deeper blue in there I think you know yeah I'll do this blue uh phthalo turquoise always works for me quite nicely so let's see all right, let's start. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's start with that. And what, um, I think this is Twinkle. We always need a little interference. Let me check if this is Twinkle, which is their kind of like a violet blue interference color. No, that's Brulicey. I can. I don't know if you can see. Right away, you can see that copper. That's their copper interference. So the other one must be Twinkle because I know I mixed her up the other day. So this okay so it looks white and then we're gonna mix I'm running out of sticks over here <clears throat> and you can't see but I do know just so happens that I remember it's twinkle so nice okay so I have my four colors I'll show them again over there where it's less hectic so let's move back over there okay <clears throat> here are the colors let's talk about layering because we're on a dark base and I'm using Payne's Gray Cell Activator, I am gonna put my light color on top. Um, I do like the look on a dark base when I do start, that's a little thick, huh? I'm gonna thin it with a touch of Josanya, but I like this right over the dark base because it's quite bold. So it looks really nice. So I just added a bit of Josanya to thin it out. Okay, now we know we like this over dark color, but I think mm, maybe I'll put that underneath. Okay, there we go. So we have this first, then the blue, then the twinkle, then this medium purple color, um, and then TLP Constellation, and then that. So I have, let me just move these to the side here. I have my 12 incher. I think I will, I don't know, let's see what happens when I spray the paint, right? I'm not gonna put too much down. I guess I can finish this jug. Okay, what's gonna happen? I just wanna get like, crazy and messy and like I mean that's not hard for me to do but there's a little bit left but I don't need it um you know what I mean just like have some fun I'm just getting a bloop have some fun with it I don't know okay I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit as I normally would anyways this is a good amount okay so let's see what happens I don't know I'm gonna let's spray I see a little bloop. Okay. I don't know. And it could be like different because this is a mirror effect which could act differently than regular. Ooh. That's really cool. How cool is that? I don't know if you guys can see how cool it is. It really does look like a liquid mirror. Wow, I love that. Okay, I, hmm, interesting. Huh, all right, let's see what happens. This is like a really cool, it looks metallic. And I know this light isn't gonna like show you. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna go a little bit off the side. Um, why not, right? It does smell a bit, <laughs> I will say. Oh wait, sorry. It's gonna have like a, it's gonna crack. It's gonna do crazy things, I don't know yet. I do not know what's gonna happen to it. I 
but it like formed kind of like a skin. So I could see the skin started to crack a little bit. Let's see. Crazy. Oh, it looks like gold leaf actually, and it started to like crack on top. I love the textures and weird things. I don't know if it's too weird yet or not, but you know, I like that it's different. And it's like really crackly. Um, okay. Let's see here. I don't know. I'm gonna like, you know, pretend that I'm doing something on purpose. But I'm definitely, oops, I'm definitely gonna play, I don't like what I just did there. I'm def definitely gonna play more rap, no, play around with this more. Um, I haven't even spun it out yet, but I like, there's crazy things happening. And you know I like crazy things. Oh, Mo's home from school today, because he's sick. It was Halloween last night, and he, we only went out for like not very long. Although he had a lot of fun jumping out of bushes and scaring children. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna start to spin slowly, and then to kind of control what's happening the best I can, but I already like this spray. Okay, let's move my paints out of the way. Look at the cool, see? Yeah, see it's like, cause it hardened and it's gonna separate. I don't know if I like that this stayed as a whole chunk. gold leaf ish see I'm like kind of breaking it up and making it I mean this this whole big shape looks weird but I like the idea you know kind of cool but I, I am gonna have to get this chunk off oh gosh well, they're playing with sneakers um yeah, I'm gonna get this chunk off, but I like what's happening. Definitely, there's like moves to be made with this. Okay. I do wanna bring it down. Oh, and the sparkle, by the way, looks nice. I can't wait to show you, because I don't think you guys can see the cool stuff that's happening here. Um, okay, we're calling this cracked gold and I'm going to play some more with it. What else can we do? That's cool. Because I do like how it stretches and cracks as you stretch, stretch it out. You know what I mean? Although obviously you're kind of missing some things because I spun a lot out. But this is kind of cool. Um, okay, one more spin. I'm gonna take you to the light and then we're gonna do something else fun. I like this, cracked gold. I think it will dry okay too. I don't see why not. Okay, let's go to the light and go to our next situation.
Okay, <clears throat> I had another crazy idea for this one. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna spray a bit more. And I'm gonna do what I'm gonna call a reverse bloom, where I'm only using cell activator. Now, normally this doesn't really work very well, but I'm more interested in the outline of what happens rather than the inside. And I have these cell activators mixed up from previous pores. Um, and then you're gonna ask me what this is. You know, I think I mixed this up myself. I think this is titanium white with a little bit of phthalo green, Amsterdam. Oh, I don't know what this, I honestly, it's in a past video. Oh, there's a blue. Um, so I don't know what it is, to be honest. A little thick too. Oh, I have gold. Hold on. That'd be crazy. Just make it like super gold. This is Amsterdam gold. Now, do I want to use all these colors? So then I have white and Payne's gray. Um, you know what? Why don't I eliminate that? At least this looks more uh, you know, normal. So yeah, why don't I do that? Right. See what happens. I don't know. You know, we like to just play around here. I think I need to open a new little what color is this. Uh, I think this is anchors away. This is blue. Hmm. Why not go for the blue, right? Ugh. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. And I am gonna stretch her out a lot. So maybe, um, you know, when I spray, I have to put more on. When I spray it, it won't have to crack up as much as it did. Even though it's cool. Oh, no, I see a bloop. Cracked gold. I like the possibilities anyways. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in the middle just so it will blow out. But I will do this like this. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah. Get her back in the middle a little bit. Okay. Do a bit of a thing. Okay, now let's do this again. Um, I don't want to. I'm gonna take off my dirty glove. Oh, it just looks so cool. I see like just at the bottom here, everything that's spun off. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna put on a new glovey. So, I just want to leave it like that. Like, it looks so cool. Let's do a reverse bloom. Why don't I start? Yeah. Why don't I start with this turquoise? Okay. Then I'll do the white. Then I'll do Payne's Gray. Whoopsie, that's like such weird reactions. I don't know, let's just see what happens, right? Okay, the cells are gonna look weird because it's all cell activator. So don't panic. They're not gonna be like big and juicy. They're gonna be more like weak looking. So if I'm making up all these things, this would be a reverse bloom with cracked gold. <laughs> I 
So this would be the sort of thing you have to wait a bit for the cells to form because it's all very thick and it's not sure what it's doing, okay? So we see this like cracked, I don't even think I would touch it. Um, like I think I'm just gonna like form my flower and um, spin it. Cause you can see like crazy things starting to happen. I'll see if I do that, it breaks into the pillow. So I don't want too much of that. But it could be kind of cool to like outline it a bit, you know? I don't think this is like necessarily gonna be a super winner, but these are the kind of things when you're like playing around with new ideas, you know, that you gotta try out. I just wanna see how all of this gold spins and cracks, you know? Okay. okay, so I think this is a very different look. Okay, um, I wanna keep playing with it, but like I wonder, I need like an idea to do. Do we like this reverse blue? Like it definitely is a different look, but there you have it. Reverse bloom, crackle background. Let's go to the light. Let me see if I can think of anything else cool to do. So I might be back or I might not be. Okay, I'm going all out on this idea. I love my reverse bloom. So I'm just gonna make more cell activators to have more fun colors with the ones I already have. So I'm gonna do Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet and the Violet Gray will it. I've never tried to mix this up as cell activator. So it doesn't, look at how pretty that looks. It doesn't really matter if it works perfectly because I'm using it in conjunction uh, with all the other cell activators and we want a less cell look and more float weight, which is cool. So I'm shaking my Australian flow troll. You can get this at Fluid Art Company, fluid-art.co, where you can also get the pigments, all the Amsterdam paints, all your pouring mats, all of your palette knives, Josonia. What can't you get there? Okay, so you know we don't measure, just bear with me. One, two, three. Ooh, this is a nice bottle. So some bottles get really thin. This is nice and thick. One, two, three. Like my last bottle, I really have to go like one to one ratio. This one looks nice. Okay, now this is not opaque. I will have to put more than normal. Normally I would start with one to three, but let's see. Blue. <laughs> let's see how that goes. I'm really excited about this, guys. You know how I always complain like that I get bored doing the same thing over and over again? I like when something kind of inspires me to do something new, you know? Um, I am going to go back to black base. So when I do my cell activator, I like to have a little body and a little trace. I think that's good for now. And like I said, I think if I were using this alone as a cell activator, I might thicken it up a bit. But well, I do that anyways, just in case. Okay. If you guys haven't seen, I've done two exact measurement videos for pouring mediums. I did the Bear 8300 and Bear Dynasty to the exact 0 0.01 ounce, which is just so hard for me to do. <laughs> and I won't do it again. I like this. Okay, so there's a bit of a trace for like one second. So let's do, oh, I should put my gloves on. One moment, please. I'm so clean. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a bigger bloom. I just, I love the crackle, but I want the bloom to also 
maybe reach the edges more, but then like I want to see the crackle. It's so hard to gauge, you know? Okay, here we go. Bloop. That should be good. Reverse blooms with a crackled back. <laughs> I need my back crackled. Oops. Got a little overzealous there. So these thicker paints, they do take a bit longer to mix in because they get kind of chunky at first. So this will have to. So the colors, remember I'm using all cell activators. I really liked the turquoise, the gold, the white, the black. So I'm gonna keep it all. I'm gonna do like a full bloom, like a fake bloom with all my cell activators. Still mixing, it's still a little chunky, but it's thickening up. Um, and then I will get a black and then I haven't prepared, like I have to go get um, another round. I just got too excited. Okay, thickening, thickening, still chunky, <laughs> mixy, mixy. All right, I'm gonna take a break from this mixing for a minute, but you see how long you have to mix some really, really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna take a break with this. I'm gonna grab my black and my round. Um, here's my black. Here's, whoa, did I go nuts? What is this? This is a four, this is a 16 incher. I just found a big round. Um, what size do we think this is? This could be a 16 incher, but like maybe that's what I need, like a really big one to showcase all the aspects, if you know what I mean. Ooh, look how big that is. Okay, so hold on, let me get organized here, guys. I got way too excited. Because also, you are very close now. You can't see what's happening, so let me back you up. Hold on. We're just going for gold here. Okay, I'm gonna lift you up. Wait, let's see if that's good. Is this the longest video ever? Yes, it is. Okay, that's good enough, All right? There you go. Okay, that should be good enough. So, let me keep mixing that. <laughs> so active that I took a break for a minute. Okay, so we're just like going for it, if you know what I mean. This could be 16 inches or it could be 14 inches. I think, oh, I think it's actually 12, 14. I think it is 16. I don't know. I'll tell you later. Uh, okay, so we're not chunky anymore. Excellent. So let's start with our tricorn black. Yep. <laughs> okay. Are you excited or nervous? Which one do you think I am? Because we're doing like a big, big guy. Okay. Here we go. And I, I still don't want to put too. I'm probably gonna use this whole thing. Too much paint down. Let's just see where we're at. Oh, that's getting, oh, oh, oh shoot, I fell off already. Okay. Yeah, I've already put too much. It's okay. We're gonna stretch her out to the edges, stretch her back to the middle, all the way down. Still put too much. Okay, it doesn't look too much when I'm pouring it out, you know what I mean? Okay, are we ready for the spray situation? Remove my paints out of the way. I'm gonna keep my cell activators ready to go. Should I just use all my cell activators? So let me see here. Gold, definitely. I liked the gold on top. You know what? I have, so I currently have seven cell activators mixed up. Why don't I just go for it, right? Like, I remember the this one that I omitted. 
But at this point, if it adds some fun color, why not, right? Okay, let's do it. Stop talking about it. Um, okay. Hmm. We're going full Monty. Okay. Whew, that's all stinky. Okay. So we are going to start with this color. I'm going to put more than I did last time. Okay. Then, then we're going to go, um, purple. Okay. Then we're going to go white. I have no rhyme or reason, by the way, of what I'm doing. Um, then, you know what? I am going to leave out the peach color. It just scared me a little bit. I'm gonna go turquoise, black and gold. I guess when I really spray, I don't actually have to spray out here, obviously, because it's gonna spin out, but I got a little overzealous. Okay, are you ready? Okay, kinda cool, right? Um, now I can take my skewer. I really like these colors, actually. And the cells are forming kinda cool, like you're gonna get big, they might not hold up very nicely, but we don't really care, right? I just wanna fix this. Okay, I already have pretty cool petal shapes. Um, I did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself, blowing her out. Um, it was much easier to blow out actually, because I wasn't afraid of the pillow coming up. Uh, okay, whatever, right? Should we just do our thing? All right, I'm just gonna do it. So we're gonna start slow and watch the magic. Woo! So these chunks that start to break up um, I want to, because I don't like, I want to start kind of breaking them up and pushing them back over a little bit. So you want to watch out for that. Just because, you know, you don't want big chunks. Okay. Chunk. Chunk. Okay. But I really think I'm liking this vibe. Um, definitely something different, right? Kind of cool. Oh, and it's been hard enough on that one. Okay. I'm definitely into the reverse blue. I don't care what anyone says about that. Kind of cool, right? Okay. 
wait, there's a little air bubble. Okay, let's see. Yep, okay, we're gonna give her another good spin. Hi, babe. Do you wanna see something really cool? No. <laughs> you don't know where our child is? Do you remember? I was sharing. She has to keep track. Look. It's cool. Very cool. You know, that's the spray paint we bought. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Good thing I found it. Good thing you did find it. I love you. Love you. I'm almost done. Okay. I know it's a little crazy to the eyes, but I also think oh, it's really cool. Okay. So tell me, finally, what do you think? Reverse bloom, crackle background. Uh, could be kind of neato. I'm gonna do a close up as usual, but definitely can play around with it. Um, and, oh, we're still moving in the middle. Okay, I'll do one more. I just don't want it to, no, I didn't spin it nicely on that one. I just don't want it to dry wonky. You know? Okay. All right. There we go. Reverse bloom. Crackle background. Um, let me know what you guys think. Is this like a cool new idea? Are you going to try it? Should I try it with other spray paints? Do you like the reverse bloom idea? I don't know. Let me know all of those things. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.